Hey everyone, it's Rainbow Rage here for episode 4 of my Inkscape Pony tutorial. Uh, I wasn't going to do another one of these today, but uh, I realized I should um, add some closure and uh, make a uh, finalizing and exporting video type thing. Because uh, there, there's a lot of in-between stuff, like, I don't know, I was going to show like mains and probably improve the eyes. And there's, there's a whole, I don't know, there's, there's stuff you can figure out on your own um, just by playing with it. Um, I'll, I'll cover that eventually. If there's any questions, as always, ask. Um, but I decided I'd skip all that for ex episode 4 and get an exporting video out because that's... Then, like, you know how to start out, you know how to make strokes, you know how to export, you can make it a whole pony. Um, but yeah, I've got a... <laughs> gonna, I'm, go I'm gonna use this one here. This is... This is a uh, sneak peek. This is the first vector I ever made, and it's so crappy you can't find this anywhere. I never upload. I've never uploaded this, so you're lucky. Uh, look at all. Look at this inefficient layering and all. You know, shaky strokes and yuck, yuck. Uh, oh man, look at that ear. How far we've come, and that's that's all. You know. It's all it's all practice, right? Like I started out like crap, and you know it's gotten a lot better. So you do the same. Keep keep working at it. You'll you know I'll get good. Anyway, I'll probably make a shitty vector example, and I'll <laughs> I'll probably end up using this one, maybe modify it a bit to show out some other common errors that I ended up not running into on this one. Um. But that that you'll see that later. Um, so to to export and you you want you want your you want your P PNG image. You can just hit the export this document, export to bitmap up here, and you, you'll get you'll get this dialog. And drawing will export everything you're drawing. Selection. Uh, I have nothing selected, but when you ha if you have something selected, you can export only your selection and uh, or page which will export only the page here um, so generally drawing is good and uh, bitmap size this one I actually I grew out to be really big so the, the vector is actually already huge so we can export at the natural resolution of 90 dpi um, if you need to make it bigger though, you just increase the DPI, you know, 120 would make it even bigger, you know, 500 if you want it huge. Um, that, it doesn't, all this, all this will change is the size of the uh, raster image that it exports. Um, because it is a vector, uh, you know, you can, it's infinitely scalable, so you can change the size however you want, and it's not going to affect the uh, quality of your image, um, just the size. Uh, so, for example, if we had this thing, oh god, I have to unlock everything. Yeah, I should have planned ahead. Oh well, live and learn. Oh my god, I use so many layers. How could I use this many layers on a single vector? On a single pony. I've had, <laughs> I've done vectors that need lots of layers, but this isn't one of them. Yes, we are going to shrink it down to size. That's gonna be nice and small. So you you made, you made your vector of some pony in the background, and it ended up being tiny. And uh, you you could you could grow it up, grow the vector itself. Um, but you can also just export it. Is it like 5,000? Okay, that's a little big. 500 DPI. Maybe a little bigger. You're gonna want. You're gonna want at least 3,000 pixels. Or maybe like 5,000. Um. Would be best. Um. Just so that, cause, cause uh, like a raster image to make it actually useful. Um. 
Yeah, wow, I did not realize I could spend this much time talking about exporting. Um, but yeah, so you're, you're going to want at least 3,000 pixels on each side, and closer, but closer to 6,000 is better. Um, getting in like, above that, though, like 8, 10,000 or above, you're getting into like the ridiculous and unnecessary range. Um, but you, you are going to want a few thousand, few thousand pixels on each side. Um, so we can export that and it'll, it'll go. Um, and, uh, another, th if we want also getting, getting the SVG right, um, see we have a page, if we want to fit our page to our object, uh, control shift D. I'll give you give us document properties, and there's a whole bunch of different default you know, letter, legal, executive, A0, all a whole bunch of different presets for page sizes. Um, but we're gonna use custom here and resize page to drawing or selection. We'll just resize the page to fit your drawing. So now our page is a good size, um, and that's that's just a good thing to do. So when you upload your SVG, you can actually view the SVG directly. Um, so that's that's just a nice thing to do. Um, save that guy. And now exporting for save as for to get our vector export. Um, you have you have a whole bunch of different options here. The ones you want to pay attention to. Inkscape SVG is the the native um, format that we'll use. Um, there's also plain SVG, but you lose you lose a whole bunch of data for that. So you're always going to want to use Inkscape SVG because other other programs can actually load the Inkscape SVG. On this, they'll just ignore the Inkscape data. Um, so always use that. Um, for increased compatibility, though, you can also, in addition to always do the SVG, but in addition, you could also export as a PDF. It's a PDF file, and uh, then if for whatever reason, you know, you're trying to share it, they can't use the SVG, uh, the PDF should work fine, because PDFs can also support uh, vectors, which is cool. So we've saved it as an SVG, we've saved it as PDF, um, so th that's all the vector files you'll need, and uh, we export as a nice big, whoa. Not that big, a nice big uh, raster image, and that'll go do its thing. And Inkscape is—it's pretty good about exporting. Like you want to export, you you can. It'll take longer the bigger you make it, but it seems to me, from my experience, that you don't—you aren't actually limited by memory, like it'll just take longer if you're making it a bigger image like you can make it as big as you want and it'll still work um, that's pretty much it I'm just trying to find right now that exported file which should be under pictures not documents I think I'm in a separate page here um, there we go found it Load nicely. There, we've got our nice big PNG file. So we can we can zoom way in on that, and because it's because it because it is big, it's actually useful. Because if if you made it smaller, then if you if someone wanted to use it, it would it would get all distorted. But because it is so big, you can actually use just the raster image, and uh, that'll be handy. So once again, um, that's exporting. I don't know if I just confused you more. I don't know how I can make a like an eight-minute video on exporting, but <laughs> I managed to do it. Um, so yeah, for sure though, that's it for today. And uh, suggestions on future videos are always appreciated. And I'll see you later.